Hey everybody, Jesse here at Fantasy Customs. Today we got a 99 Sierra with the 5.3 liter four wheel drive. Not good oil pressure, but we can get some. What I believe to be lifter tick. So I'm gonna open it up and uh, open this side up and see what's under that valve cover. So first, uh, get this unhooked and out of the way. Maybe get this out of the way too, so all the electrical stuff's out. Um, pop off all the spark plug wires and then undo the 10 mils holding all the coil packs down and then uh, get in there what I believe looks like some more 10s or 8s uh, on the valve cover will be in there okay we've got it all opened up uh, I don't see anything super alarming right off the bat here no broken uh, springs or anything like that um, so I'm going to start taking off these rocker arms, looks like a little eight on the top of each one, and, uh, see what's inside there. Okay, so I plugged the coils back in, and, uh, I'm going to start it up. Uh, I sprayed some cleaner down each one of the push rod holes, and, uh, I just want to see, uh, if I can have it run while this covers off. So here we go. I don't know. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Guess I'm gonna find out. So unfortunately with this particular truck we could not get the lifter tick to go away um, by just cleaning the lifters so um, I'm gonna have to replace those lifters to get them back um, I'm also gonna try first though to make sure we can get the oil pressure back because without oil pressure it's just gonna keep having the same problems and, and, and destroy your lifters collapse the lifters whatever's going on in there um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna first go ahead and make another video trying to show you how possibly you might be able to get your low oil pressure back on uh, one of these Chevy motors. Alrighty, so stay tuned for that one. Glad that you guys are watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, give me a comment. Everybody have a great day. Take care.